Hey everybody, QuestWise here, and I got home from the day job today and found out that I had a package, a small package, uh, from War Games Delivered. Um, and I wanted to kind of just open it for you and then give you a little bit of a, uh, a taste of what, um, what I got in this package. So War Games Delivered is a new company to me. Um, from what I understand, kind of a small and new company uh, to, the, to the market itself. But I've been highly impressed uh, with their customer service. I've been highly impressed with their website, their Facebook presence. They do a lot of cool things. And what this little package is, is they they and I believe at the time of the filming of this video, uh, the uh, promotion is still going on. But you can get three free bottles of paint uh, from them. You choose whatever paint you want uh, from their list, and um, all you do is pay shipping and handling. So. Uh, very, very cool promotion. They're doing a lot of stuff. They have like some huge discounts on some of the big army painter um, uh, box sets of like complete paint sets and stuff. And so I went through and picked out three colors of stuff that I didn't didn't really have um, in my arsenal and um, and decided I uh, would kind of show them to you. And I just happened to have a. Um, Mandalorian miniature uh, for Star Wars Legion already ba uh, um, um, primed up and ready to go and I thought I would use some of these paints that I got today and put it on here and kind of show you the the quality of the paints that you're going to get um, from War Games Delivered. Now these are Army Painter paints um, so and I've used them in the past I, I really really enjoy these paints. Um, they are um, high quality paints they have very nice pigmentation to them a wide variety of cool colors um, and much cheaper than some of the other paints on the market uh, I really enjoy Vallejo paints they're probably my all-time favorite they can be a little um, expensive uh, but they also are a little bit hard to find uh, where I'm at and um, even ordering online sometimes they're a little difficult to get uh, but Army Painter, I think, would be my next in line. Uh, I picked up Viking Blue. I picked up Toxic Mist, which is kind of a, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, almost a mint green color. And I picked up Wizard's Orb, which is a really interesting kind of green color. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this uh, the mini that I have, this Mandalorian mini, um, uh, for Star Wars Legion. And I'm going to take you back over to the paint table I'm going to put some paint on this and I'm going to kind of show you uh, the pigmentation of these paints and how well they are. And if you ever need any supplies uh, like this, whether it be paints, whether it be brushes, whether it be flocking and terrain bits, um, please check out the, the, the link in the description to, below to, uh, to War Games Delivered. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Like I said, they have some really cool promotions going on all the time, uh, some really great sales, and super quick. I ordered these maybe four days ago but sunday was one of those days so three days of, to get them delivered to me um super super fast response super fast uh mailing and delivery as well too so hop on over with me to the painting table i'll show you what these look like sit tight okay here we are back at the painting table and i've taken the liberty to um adding some paint to this miniature real quick and show you what I've got here so the helmet is this uh, Viking blue and then I've done that was a couple of I did it over black I did it straight over black so it did take a couple of coats um, I would say about three uh, with letting them dry in between each coat to get that very vibrant blue and then the chest piece is actually the wizard's orb, this main, main part here. And then I did a little bit of edge highlighting with the toxic mist. And it's a very bright color. It's almost like a, almost like a white um, with a hint of mint kind of green to it. Then what I did for a little bit of interestingness to the helmet is I mixed some of the Viking blue with the wizard's orb and I kind of stippled it along the edges and along the very top of the face plate to get that sort of 
gradient effect that it melts into sort of that green of the armor as well. Now, of course, this miniature is not even close to being done. There's a lot of stuff to be done. I'm going to smooth out that blue a little bit more. It's pretty easy to do. You just take a wet brush um, and, and kind of smooth it out a little bit, but... I like the effect. Um, I figured because all these paints were in the sort of same kind of spectrum, that bluish green color, uh, that I wanted to try to blend them together to see what kind of effect I could get. And I really kind of like the little stippling. Um, and it looks a little weird on the camera, but I always paint to tabletop quality. That's my goal, you know. So the thing's sitting on the table, how cool is it going to look um, from arm's length? Um, I did on the very visor of the helmet you can't really see it too well here i should have done a probably silver undercoat but i used one of my favorite all-time colors this is a vallejo color and it's called gunmetal blue this color is gorgeous it is again one of my all-time favorite colors and it is sort of a blue metallic very very cool color I enjoy this is one of my favorite paints I use this whenever I get and I use it just for some you know edge highlighting just some some spark to make a miniature pop a little bit if I need something that works really great on fantasy armor because uh, it does have a very distinctive like sort of turquoise tint to it and I tried to do it right along the edge of the visor um, but because it's so dark and because the blue and the green is so vibrant it's not standing out very well so what i may do is i might go back in with um a silver go over that and then put the gunmetal blue over it to give it a little brighter base in there as well and i also can't know if you can't tell if on the video here but i did go in with a gloss and do the actual visor itself and the little black areas there and i might go back and i'm definitely not done with this miniature i'm going to go in and Add some little details uh, to the helmet, maybe some white markings and such, and the rest of the armor as well. But I kind of dig these colors, so highly recommend uh, swinging over to to War Games Delivered, grabbing some Army Painter paints, Viking Blue, Wizard's Orb, and Toxic Mist is what I use in this project today. I also love to keep on hand two staple colors I always have in my paint collection, uh, and that is Matte Black from Army Painter and dragon red these two are always staples uh, i always make sure i have plenty of these in my uh, paint collection um, because i use them all the time i use the matte block for cover up when i make a little mistake i can go back in and just I, and i almost always prime in black unless i'm doing like stormtroopers or something uh, which i'll prime in white but this matte black is great for going back in and uh, covering up little bit of uh, touch up and dragon red is just a great great staple as well so thank you everybody for watching if you watched this far i appreciate your support um it's sort of a this video is sort of a commercial i guess in effect uh for army painter as well as war games delivered i will put a link down in the description below for both uh websites as well but please go check them out um, support your local game store first, but if you uh, ever need anything that they don't have, check out War Games Delivered and Army Painter for all of your needs uh, when it comes to miniature painting. Until next time, I'm Questwise. Stay safe, and as always, my friends, game on.